Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. This week I wanted to share with you a fun session out fishing the flats with my wife Sherry and my dad Ron, fishing three of our favorite soft plastics. So we each rigged a different plastic and we got out there and we got stuck into a few. But before I share that video with you, I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk through a basic soft plastics kit because we've got the school holidays coming up and we've also had a stack of new subscribers to our YouTube channel and also our weekly newsletter. So I thought, all right, let's go through the basic kit that we carry so that you can get out there and you can get stuck into a few fish this holidays. So first cab off the rank is choosing a rod and reel. So if I was only gonna choose one rod and reel for soft plastic fishing and lure fishing in the rivers and estuaries, then I would probably go with this guy here. So that is a seven foot, two to four kilo rod with a 2500 size reel. It's a great all rounder because you can fish your lighter stuff, but you can also go and fish some deeper edges and that sort of thing with a three eighth ounce jig head, four flathead, snapper, mull away, that sort of thing, and handle them on this two to four kilo rod. So I'll put a full breakdown of this kit in the description of this video so that you can go down there and check that out as well. And you'll also find loads of information, rigging guides, all sorts of things on our website at tackletactics.com.au. So this is my go-to all-round combo for the river and estuary, two to four kilo, seven foot rod, 2,500 size reel. Braid-wise on that, I will generally fish eight pound or 10 pound braid, which will handle some solid fish. And leader-wise, I start off with eight pound to 10 pound leader. So if you find the fishing really tough, the water's clear, the bite's just impossible, you may need to lighten up your leader weight. But if you start with an eight to 10 pound leader, you've got good security if you do hook a flathead or other species that can chew up leaders quite easily. So that's a great all round starting point and that's gonna be able to fish for some larger fish as well as all of your lightweight finesse stuff that you're doing. So that's our seven foot, two to four kilo, 2,500 size reel. In terms of backing braid and that sort of thing, generally when I spool my reel, I'll put a few wraps of uh, mono on the back of that reel. So I'll start with a few wraps of mono, then I'll tie my braid to it with a double uni knot, and then I'll spool up with the braid. And that stops the braid from slipping on your spool. We do commonly get people come to us and say, my braid's sliding around the spool. And that's because you haven't fixed it at the other end. So I just like to tie up some mono around the spool, wrap it around a couple of times, tie a, double, tie a uni knot, slide it on, have a few wraps of mono, tie a uni knot to your braid and then spool your braid on. And then leader wise, I fish a length, rod length of leader or I just grab the leader off and run it out that sort of length and that's my leader. And I'll tie that on with a double uni knot, two by braid. Once you learn the double uni knot, then you can go about learning an FG knot, but a double uni knot's a great starting point for lighter lines and leaders and that sort of thing. And then I'll simply just tie a locked blood knot to the lure, to the jig head. So locked blood knot to the jig head. So that's a good all round combo for fishing soft plastics in the rivers and estuaries. If you're gonna be primarily fishing finesse, then your option is to lighten things up a little bit. And this is a great fun combo to fish. And this is a one to three kilo, seven foot spin rod. One to three kilo is great for throwing those lighter plastics. And I've got a 1000 size reel on there, six pound braid, and again, eight to 10 pound leader. That six pound braid on this one to three, you can throw a really long cast when you're fishing lighter finesse plastics and that sort of thing. So the rods I'm running are TT Red Belly rods, two piece rods and the reels are same HD spin reels from Akuma. I've found them to be beautiful. Uh, braid wise, Pulse X8 in white from Platypus and Platypus Leader in a Stealth FC or a Hard Armor has been good for me. Eight and 10 pound I generally stick with. So that's our combos. We've got a combo, we're ready to go and catch some fish. What are we gonna tie on the other end? For me, I would carry three plastics in my kit when I'm kicking off soft plastics fishing. So, you know, you might end up with a couple of jig head trays full of jig heads like I've got here and a, and a bag full of pluckies. But to kick things off, you really only need a couple of packets of plastics and a couple of plastic uh, packets of jig heads to get you started. So three plastics that I always have in my kit. First off, if you're just getting into plastics, a curl tail is an excellent option. It has loads of action. You pretty well can't fish it wrong because whether you're hopping or twitching or rolling or whatever you're doing, that tail's gonna have loads of action. So I would go with a, uh, with a Z-Man 2.5 inch grubs or a Z-Man 2.5 inch ST grubs. So we've been catching a lot of fish lately on the ST grubs. 
which has a split tail design, so it has loads of action in the water, and a heavily ribbed body, which holds scent very well and feels soft and natural. So that's the first plastic I would have in my kit, a curl tail. Can't fish it wrong, and you're gonna catch some fish. So just fish it nice and slow, hop it, twitch it, roll it. And the main thing we wanna be doing when we're out there is looking for bait and looking for structure. If you target, think about where the fish might live and why they might live there, around rocks, around mangrove edges, around weed edges, drop-offs, that's where the fish are gonna hold. Where there's structure or where there's food for them to eat, so look out for bait. So our curl tail, the next plastic I would have in my kit is a paddle tail. So that's a two and a half inch Z-Man Slim Swims. That is a deadly little paddle tail. So basically paddle tail, as its name suggests, the tail paddles, it swims like a fish, and it's a bite-sized snack. So you can cast that, same thing, twitch it, hop it, roll it, slow wind, whatever you want to do, you know, the fish will eat that plastic as well. Just cover plenty of water, bounce the bottom. If it's sandy, if it's weedy, you can just swim it over the top. But that catches brim right through to big flatties and all sorts of things we'll eat a Z-Man 2.5 inch slim swims. The third plastic I would have in my kit is a prawn. So this is a Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns, realistic prawn imitation, deadly little plastic, and everything eats a prawn. So you can hop and twitch this around. So where these guys have a lot of built-in action, this has not so much built-in action. So these guys, you can just wind and they'll catch fish. This guy, you want to be sort of twitching and hopping and moving him around like a prawn moves around. And it's an excellent design, nice chunky body to hold a jig head, fold away with that tail, and boom, fish on. So you'll see all of these catch fish in the video coming up after this little bit of run through on our gear here. All right, jig head selection. Jig head selection can be one of the trickiest things for people. Don't stress out. You can go to tackletactics.com.au, rigging guides, and you'll find a section that matches up the plastic with the jig head. So you can check out what I've listed below here. Otherwise, make sure you go and check out that tackletactics.com.au, rigging guides, loads of info there. So if I was just getting into soft plastics fishing to fish these three plastics, I would fish a 1 8 ounce and a quarter ounce jig head. The 1 8 ounce is perfect for really shallow stuff, mangrove edges, shallow flats, you know, through to about a metre and a half, I would fish a 1 8 you can fish it deeper depending on the amount of current and that sort of thing but a 1 8 is a great option for canal fishing around pontoons and canals and stuff and just those when you started it gets started in soft plastics you can go lighter to a 1 16th 1 12th 1 20th but a 1 8 is a great starting point to get you into a few fish quarter ounce is my step up in weight to fish edges and drop offs and down to you know three meters that sort of thing so it's my step up in weight for Big long cast in the wind, fishing deeper water, fishing faster current. So if you've got one eighth and one quarter, you're pretty well gonna catch a lot of fish in your river and estuaries. In terms of jig heads, we've got a finesse option. So a finesse option will have an L on the sizing here, and that means it's a light wire hook. So it's a fine gauge for maximum penetration on light lines, and it's perfect when you're finesse fishing plastics. So my go-tos are a headlocks finesse, a Headlocks Finesse UV Painted, which is a painted option of the Headlocks Finesse jig head. And then when I step up to a quarter, I go to the Demons Painted jig heads. So these are three excellent options. So in the 1.8, I'll primarily stick with the Headlocks Finesse and the Headlocks Finesse UV Painted. In the quarter, I primarily stick with the Demons, but you can, you know, you can cross it over. You can fish a quarter ounce in your Headlocks Finesse as well, if you want to fish that heavier weight in an unpainted head. So hook, hook size wise, in those fine wires, with these plastics, I would fish a size one or a size one oh. And there's also a heavier hook option for those that are new to fishing and maybe don't, are not sure about drags and setting up and not putting too much hurt on the fish. You can just fish a heavy wire hook. So it's still black nickel chemically sharpened hook. The fine wire is a gamma katsu. The heavy wire is a mustard. We chose them specifically for their, their application. That fine wire in a gamma is absolutely magic. The heavy wire in a mustard is brutally strong. So still black nickel chemically sharpened hook but it just allows you to put brutal hurt on things and you're less likely to, to bend or break hooks. So uh, if, you, if you're not sure, you can check that out at tacklertactics.com.au in the rigging guides, but that heavy wire mustard hook is a Headlocks HD. So this is a Headlocks Finesse. The Headlocks HD is a heavy duty hook. 
This is a light wire hook for maximum penetration. When I go to the HD hook, I generally step down a size and I'll fish a two or a one, whereas I go to the light wire and I fish a one or a one oh. But you can find all that info on the website. All right, other additions to our gear that we're gonna be carrying. So we've got our leader in eight or 10 pound, platypus Stealth FC or hard armor. I always carry a bit of scent with me, Procure Super Gel scent. You can put a little bit on the plastic every 30 or so casts. Uh, or after you've caught a fish, you might put a little bit more on there. That's definitely good when the bite's tough and it'll get them to hold on longer, which when you're beginning to fish soft plastics, oh, was that a bite? Oh, yep, yep. You've got a bit more time. They'll eat it more aggressively. They'll hold onto it longer, give you more time to set the hook. Uh, probably a pair of braid scissors throw in there as well to make rigging easy. And you're pretty well set up, ready to go with a basic soft plastics kit to get stuck into a few fish. So a couple of packets of plastics, a couple of packets of jig heads, your combo, get out there and get stuck into a few. So I hope you enjoy this quick little session on the water fishing the flats with my wife and my dad, throwing these three absolute go-to plastics. We're fishing them in this video on quarter ounce 1.0 Demons jig heads. And we basically get up, find a few grunter on the flats. Then we get into stuck into a patch of small brim. So we give that flat a miss, head to another flat and we get stuck into some better quality brim. So I hope you enjoy this video, set yourself up, Get out there this holidays and get stuck into a few fish. Fish on. On the bottom. Oh, Ronnie's on. Oh, Ronnie's on. What have we got going on there? That's yeah. Ronnie on the slim swims again. Well, he's going that way, Dad. He's a solid brim. Good work, Dad. Sorry, mate, you around the bimini. <laughs> I just filmed the bimini. Want to stop? There you go, nice little brimbo. Quarter ounce one oh, slim swims, rolling the flats. Fish on, I think you looped around the tip there, mate. Oh, he's slaying it on the slimmies. Slaying it on the slim swims, Dad. We need might have to. Have a switcheroo to the well, slimmies. Tried to take off again. It might be a throwback. It might be. Yep, he's only a little fella. Yeah. Good fun though, drilled that slim swims. Right out. See you later, fish. Nice work, mate. Oh, there's a tap. There's a tap. Oh, they like the prawn on a shaky retrieve. See him just there, Sherry, eating it? He just ran off with it. There he is, he's on it. On it, yep, got him. <laughs> he liked the look of that prawn. Where is he? <laughs> Come here, buddy. If they were all over that, they liked that bit twitchier retrieve. Not a big fella, but good fun, light gear. You got a mullet, mate. <laughs> Something Sherry's on. What do you got, Sherry Lee? Give us a tip for fish and soft plastic, Sherry. Oh, be, patient. be patient. Oh, I think I've jumped him under. No, oh, no. it was just hooked under his fin. Brimbo, good fun. Right, he's hooked in the mouth. He's a fair catch. See you, buddy. On the two and a half inch ST grubs, you can see that split tail and the grub there, lots of movement in the water. Fish can't resist that one. Yeah, I often find the better fish aren't on the mullet. Lots of little brim on the mullet, eh? But we'll just see. Look, have a look at the two grunter. You guys pulled nowhere near the mullet. You get on the mullet, you get little brim. Twitching the prawn. Oh, look at all those little bait. You're right, Sherry's tons of little bait there. Yeah. Another pocket rocket. Oh, running on. I'm going to spot lock us there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hook set. The hook set was solid. Another brimbo. Good fun, anyway. Loving the slim swims. 2.5 inch slim swims, 
What's a tip for fish and soft plastic stud? Procure. Oh, sent up, you reckon? <laughs> sent up and slay them. Oh, settle down, machine. There goes the mullet forever. <laughs> yeah, we might be better off just drifting through. Oh, that time I paused it and he ate it. On the prawns. Yeah, on the prawn, paused. Not a monster. I think I just keep grabbing my tail. Yeah, these little fellas, eh? Yeah, because I think, oh, yeah, there's one, and then I'll rip it out of its <laughs> Bait behind is flicking. See ya, buddy. Small brim. Where's the big fellas? He's cranky. Bro. Not big fellas though. Hopefully we can come across a nice grunter or something. That's got a bit more go. That's got a bit more go. Paused it. Let it fall. And that one picked it up. That feels a bit more powerful. Just fishing one to three kilo rods. 1,000 size reel, six pound braid. 10 pound leader in case we get a flatty. Yep, that's a grunter. He's a silver. Yes. He's a good spotty. Beautiful. These three 2.5 inch favorites have all caught a nice grunter this morning. One on the ST grubs, one on the prawns, one on the slimmies. What size are you, buddy? You look all right. Around that 34, 35. Oh, he's all over this. Just eat it, buddy. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> oh, he was playing with that for ages. Little fella, I think, but he was playing with it for ages before he ate it. Look at the size of that thing, and it's fighting hard. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, no, it's in the side again. That's why it was going off. That's that erratic jerky retrieve. It finds them somewhere. Yeah, he was trying to eat it and then it grabbed him. <laughs> Too many little tuckers, eh? Thoughts? Oh, straight on, Sherry. Nice work. Getting bigger? Dragging it in. <laughs> oh. He's fiery. He's not as small as some. Oh. Way he's off. Uh oh, same same breed, different different spot, same breed, I think. Yeah. It's a small brim fest today. It's fun, but it's small brim fest. Got to be a few bigger ones in amongst them. They're aggressive. They are. They're not big, but they're aggressive. <laughs> Little fella. They're all over this thing, but they're tiny. Yeah, Sherry and I have been having lots of little tackers bite it, hey? Yep, there he is. <laughs> if you're getting those little tackers biting it, if you want to catch them, just pause it. <laughs> but they're not big. There's got to be some something big lurking in amongst those mullet, hey? Oh, 
Plenty of bites. Yep. <laughs> Not a big fella. Only a little tucker. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's angry. Come on, mate. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of that, hey? <laughs> Yeah, there's so many little brim on this flat, eh? Hey? It's madness. They get big for winter time. <laughs> nah, they slow growing critters. Brimbo. Bigger? This is the same as last time, Sherry. Hey, around the mullet, a million of these little tackers. Mm. Oh, that's got a little bit more grunt to it. Drilled the prawn on the hop and paws. Oh, look at the bait. So much small bait. No more brimbos, eh? No more brim, let's have something different. Whoa, what was that, Dad? Hopefully that's oh. a flatfish. It feels a little bit like that. Yeah, it um, kind of just loaded up on you, eh? Oh no, it's silver. It's a better brim, that's a good brim. Loaded up nice then. You want a net under him? Or you want me to just grab him? If you just swing me the leader, I'll oh. get him. Yep, he's a good brim. Look at that guy. What a cracker. You want a photo? He's a nice brim, though. That's a solid fish. That's what we're looking for. That's why we made the move. Yeah. Found a bunch of small brims, so we moved yeah. and found a, found a better quality fish. Two and a half inch slim swims in blood oil on that one quarter ounce 1 0. TT Demons, I'll let you fix him up and I'll get this bloke back in the water. That looks like it's a better quality brim. So I can see the weed edge there. Yeah, he's a nice one. Right on this weed edge and we'll just spot lock. So we're spot locked. So that's a nice fish. Beautiful, Sherry Lee, on the ST Grubs. Quarter ounce 1 Demons. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh I hate it how that thing does that. There we go. ST Grubs, Houdini colour, handful of brimbo. Yep, straight on. That's where they are. Which side's better for you there? Oh, sorry. Fish on on the prawns. We found a little patch of brimbos. He's a bit better quality fish as well. Prawn, swallowed the prawn. Scoff that prawn on the quarter one o. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Oh my gosh, he's a stonker. He's a good brim. Not on bad. the slim swims. Not bad. Yep, there we go. Oh, on the paws. Oh, paws the prawns and he just nailed it. Just a hop hop pause. He's not yeah, as he's not a big one, but yeah. on. just drilled it on the paws. Oh, on. Oh, I'll come down. A bit smaller. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. On the slow roll, hey. Yeah. Slow roll on the slimmy. You're only on another one. Got him, got him. <clears throat> nobody, want, nobody wants to eat a pike. Yeah, he's all right size, isn't he? Yeah, do you want to eat him? Just keep it. All right, open the box. 
I'm fishing the prawns. I really like this little prawn. He's a beautiful presentation, realistic prawn profile. And I'm just giving him a few twitches and a pause. Yep, there's a bite. Ooh, missed him. Twitch, twitch, give it a pause. And those brimble often pick it up when I pause it. A few shakes and whines and a pause. They'll often belt it on the pause. Sherry's on again on that SD Grubs. Houdini colour, 2.5 inch. Looks like another nice brim, Sherry Lee. Oh, I think I just lost him. Yep, yeah, did him. <clears throat> Happens a bit with those guys and you hook them just in the lip, eh? Yep, sometimes if you shake it a bit more, you'll get them to bite. Yeah. I'm still just low rolling. When I get those bites, I'm just, of course, I just stop it a couple of times. Yeah, stop. Yeah. He's a little bloke. Don't listen to me, I'm catching the small ones. Maybe don't shake it. <laughs> I'm shaking it because I'm fishing a prawn, so yeah. the prawn doesn't have a lot of... Prawn doesn't want to have a lot of immunity. That's a tailor dart. Hit that one. Yeah, it's funny. We just got that little patch of a mate. Oh, oh that's a one. oh. Lost him. Yeah, must have just been hooked in the lip, eh? Hey? I just. Oh. No, nah, you're not. Oh. No, you're not. <coughs> Might want a net under him, though, by the feel of that. This is not a brim. Turtle. Where's it going, mate? I don't know. Do you want me to chase after it? There it is on the surface. Is it a turtle? Yep. It's a small it? turtle. Yep. It... There's a turtle just there. There's a... There's a brim. Oh, it's got some weight. Rimbo, two and a half inch prawns, opening night colour. Right. Yeah, so what are we going to do? Five more casts? Yeah. All right, five more casts, make them count, Dad. One. Whoa! Yeah, what was, what that? was that? Just got eaten. Something just got eaten. Big time. Small that guy. One for one. one. Yep. Do you have any eyes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so you drill it right there. They're angry. The size has dropped off a bit though. You alright? Nice, it's nice in it, so you're right. 